In Toilet Tower Defense, there are 6 legendaries and 6 exclusives, which are the strongest units, and some other pretty useful units like the Medic Cameraman, which can heal your troops when they are stunned, or the Camera Helicopter, which spawns friendly units on the track that fight against the toilets. So there are pretty much 14 good options for things to use, but there are only 5 inventory slots. So of course, many people end up using much different strategies, but today we're gonna try beating the hardest game mode with the help of an AI. I divided this map into 12 quadrants and explained each one of them to the AI, and then I also told the AI about every single unit we have in the game. So here's the AI. As you can see, I told it about the rules of the game and just how it works, but now I'm going to ask it, tell me the five units you think I should use to win. Oh, this is actually a good strategy. Ninja Cameraman, Titan TV Man, Medic, Large Scientist Cameraman. Oh, wait, 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 what? Large Scientist so no scientist cameraman? Okay, and TV woman. I told him that the normal scientist cameraman spawns money every round, but like, I guess he changed his mind. So now, let's join Toilet HQ. I'm asking him what quadrant I should put the first unit in. Okay, quadrant four and the ninja cameraman. That's like not even bad at all. Let me pull up the map again. So quadrant four includes like right after this turn. So like, I think I'm gonna put the first one right here. I'm gonna ask him, should I upgrade him or save for another unit? All right, Discord's AI is actually out here giving good advice. Upgrade him. Too bad I don't actually have a scientist cameraman, though. I kind of forgot to tell the AI that upgrading stuff is better than just placing more stuff, but, like, he got lucky. He decided to actually upgrade him. But how much should I upgrade him? Upgrade him as much as you can, bro. That's literally good advice right there. Um, I, I can't really do anything about these toilets going past, though. Doesn't matter too much. We got the first upgrade. Some toilets got past him. What do I do? Place another unit in quad. Quadrant 5. Kinda too late for that, and I don't have enough money, so I can't really do that one right now. Uh-oh, glasses toilets. At least the AI said to upgrade stuff as much as I can, though. I skipped it. I'm hoping these reach him first so that, like, I can get money to upgrade him. But now I can finally afford to place another unit in Quadrant 5, so I'm gonna put this one right here. He said to place another one in Quadrant 8, which that actually includes this end turn up here. Will I be able to do it? 158, come on! 178, no, I won't be able to afford placing another unit. Come on. Oh, that's just gonna be an L for me. We're taking another, like, a lot of damage. Yeah, at least I can still upgrade this guy, but there's still a lot of small toilets getting past. And now I'm able to afford one in Quadrant 8. Let's go. Oh, this, this is not looking good at all. We're gonna be out of 10 health after this. It really just depends on if we can get this boss toilet right here. Oh, I need 400 to upgrade him. No. Hey, at least I'm getting these glass toilets right here. He said I can upgrade the one in Quadrant 8. Let's go. Come on, come on. We need to not lose on wave 8. Come on, 1,400 health. We have 10 health. That toilet said yes, we got him. All right, this one has enough range to actually reach these guys. I didn't show this yet, but yeah, I said he's still an 8, and then he said I can do it. Placing it right here is actually good, because he can attack out the corner to get stuff low first. Uh-oh, there's the flying buzzsaw toilet. The only other one that I was permitted to upgrade by the AI was this one right here. Uh-oh. Oh no, he got stunned. He got stunned. This is not looking good. Our best guy just got got stunned right now when it's still at most health. He's getting the spiders though. We might be able to max this one out at the very end. Yes, I maxed it out. Come on, please, please. No, please don't stun him. Please don't. No, he stunned the ninja cameraman. Oh, the flying buzzsaw toilet got us at the end. I broke the news to the AI that I lost and I said why I think we lost and that I didn't have a normal scientist, but then he said I should use large scientists again. He said quadrant four ninja. Okay, four was this one again. Bro, he's telling me the same strategy. That's crazy. I think I'm gonna start out with putting it right here though this time because this is still in four it's at the bottom right corner of four and i think this is a much better placement to be honest he also said to upgrade him again i'm not sure if he thinks the same strategy is good but we'll see what happens so far we're not doing bad i'm upgrading him again like he said only two small toilets got past the first turn now they have to go through the second turn and also the glasses toilets actually got past the first time so let's i think we're they're not gonna get past totally this time and we upgraded him again uh oh there are a lot of small toilets right here. They're actually going really fast. No, two of them are getting past. That's not good. I mean, totally better than last round though. This is a better placement, and it was better that he didn't tell me to put another ninja cameraman, and we can just max this one out first. But are we gonna be able to get this boss toilet this time? It seems like we are. He's already at 9k. And I just got the 400 upgrade, so we're totally getting him. And there we go. I just got a 
save up for the 600 upgrade, then we got him maxed out again. And there's a 600 upgrade. Hey, AI, I got him maxed out. What should I place next and in what quadrant? Quadrant 5, Titan TV. Bro went straight to the most expensive unit in the game. I don't know how good that's gonna end up, but I don't really have any other options besides just letting him cook. Like, we're gonna have to put him right here. Because then he can get this back area and over here, which seems like the best deal to me. Actually, I think I'll put him right here. This is still Quadrant 5. We have a Titan TV man down in Quadrant 5. Place the medic in Quadrant 8. Bro, that's like gonna be all on his own. Oh, now we have the flying bus. Oh, wow, that actually... Actually, okay, that was actually smart. The flying bus on toilet stunned that guy. So now I'm probably gonna be fine. I'm not gonna get stunned, hopefully. Come on, get him, get him. No, 1,700. He's at 900, bro. Powerful unit in quadrant nine to stop it. That's what he said. This is, this is quadrant. No, no, he stunned it. He stunned it. No. I didn't really look that fast. Uh, this is technically not quadrant nine, but it doesn't really matter because we still took the damage anyways. So we're just gonna ignore that and put the medic in quadrant eight for some reason. Reason. Closest 8 gets to anything is like right here, so I'm gonna just put him by the track and maybe he'll get stunned or something. He said to put the TV woman in quadrant 6 to slow down the toilets. I told him the order stuff goes, so that doesn't really slow anything before I get to it, but I guess I'll just do that. He said in quadrant 7, put the large scientist. He wants me to upgrade the large scientist to the max now. Alright, we're gonna spend everything on that, but hey, at least now Toilet City is gonna be healed every wave. He said place another in quadrant 3. I told him that that quadrant three is for decoration, but okay. Oh, well, <laughs> there we go. He doesn't even hit anything at all. He said upgrade him to the max. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I mean, at least he attacks this edge now. That's not that bad. But what is bad is how many boss toilets are about to get past. I mean, the, the scientist carrion is doing as much as he can, but that's not really that much. Oh, this is really bad. This is <laughs> really bad. He said to sell the large scientist and place a fully upgraded Titan T in its place. Um, okay. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna sell him and we're, we're gonna put a TV Titan right here. This is gonna help us with the boss toilets. You guys see? This is the secret strategy that the developers like, I don't want you to know about this. This is our most secret strategy. You see, the boss toilets just walk straight past and then it goes straight in the toilet city and then we lose the game. So for right now, I don't think AIs give the best suggestions now. I mean, they're kind of decent at toilet tower defense. Like, my loadout isn't that bad. If I could, I'd definitely swap out the large scientist for normal scientist, the medic for jetpack, but then that's pretty much it. This isn't too bad. You could probably win, like, camera man HQ with this. The update's gonna be tomorrow in like 10 hours from now when this video's up. Since it takes a while to like edit and everything, it's probably gonna be seven or six hours until the update. I'll do a video when the update's out, so make sure you subscribe with the notifications on and like the video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.